So, today, let me explain the team. The team, once again, is not entirely done. This game is very grindy for team building, but it's a little bit better than some previous games. Uh, the only thing I have to do is grind for Grass Terra Shards on my Gyarados and on my Bronzong for them to be optimal. Uh, but, they're still fine. I have Terra Water Gyarados, which should come in handy once in a while. Uh, but we're running a Choice Specs uh, Fishy. His name's Fishy. Uh, he's going to lower special defense stats and allow for our uh, Fluttermane to be absolutely nasty with the Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam. But we have Terra Steel Hariyama, which is the coolest part about the team, obviously. And what we do is we lead off uh, Hariyama, we fake out Calm Mind with our Fluttermane, and then we go directly into the Fishy, lower everyone's special defense, and smack him in the face with Terra Fairy. Let's do it. Let me get better music. Oh, no, we're stuck with Elite Four. I mean, it's it's good music. Ooh, this is pretty interesting. Uh, I really, really, really like my, uh... I really like my Hariyama here, to be honest. Actually, this, this whole team goes in Sano mode. Yeah. Um... Chi Yu... And I think Gyarados is best, but Bronzong and Amoongus are also not bad. I'm kind of feeling Gyarados, though. For, in for Intimidate. Maybe Bronzong's a little bit better. Uh, now we'll go Amoongus, okay. Okay. By the way, all the notifications up top, let me remind you. They already happened in the past. For some reason, when I switch screens, it'll just, like, repeat all the notifications. These are not happening right now. <clears throat> Why not Iron Hands instead? Iron Hands doesn't have access to Flame Orb, uh, plus Guts and Knock Off. Knock Off Hariyama is one of the most insane Pokemon in VGC. Uh, while, while, uh... While Iron Hands has higher stats overall, the utility that Hariyama provides is way better in my opinion. They fit on different teams, don't get me wrong, but I really do think Hariyama is superior in most ways. Also, I don't believe Iron Hands gets Bullet Punch. Let me familiarize myself with that. Yeah, it doesn't get Bullet Punch or, like, Knock Off or anything. It has a lot less options. Um, I'm thinking here my play is actually just going to be to Calm Mind. And Fake Out. Actually, I think my play is going to be Fake Out into Iron Hands. And go for the Shadow Ball into Arcanine. First. To get that immediate damage. If they Flare Blitz me, obviously that's not great. Also, Shiny Hariyama. Very happy I got that. Forgot that I had it, actually. Let's see who's is faster. Uh, I do have eight Speed IVs, just by coincidence, because that's the one I caught it with. So I am going to go fast, uh, faster than it, so that's really nice. Shadow Ball for some immediate damage. I might get Flare Blitz, and I'm, or I might get Snarled. We'll see. All right, we live, which is actually insane. Because that means I can pick up a double KO next turn, probably. Oh, wait. Is that Citrus? Alright, I'm thinking here, I actually don't... Let me think. I think I just go Chi Yu, and I try to Annihilate Iron Hands. But I don't Terra this thing. Yeah. This will, do, this will do decent damage. Let me pull up chat. If you're watching on YouTube, I have a I have a live stream going on right now. Yeah, the matching color scheme is insane on these guys. I love it. I love purple. It's my favorite color if you didn't notice by my channel's branding. It's gonna lower everyone's special defense stat.
All right. If it's not AV, this goes down. All right, it's AV. Wild charge, that's fine. That's fine, actually. I'm very happy with this position. Because I can spam Specs Heat Wave now. Go right into my guy. Uh, and I do think I Terra here. Because Terra Steel doesn't net me that much value. Oh, what if I snu- No, I Heat Wave. Even though a lot of things resist it, it's still really strong. Alright, and I fake out, um... You go down, I believe- I fake out the Arcanine. Nothing quite switches in on this, not even like Tyranitar. Yeah, Garchomp doesn't take this well either. Because we saw where their AV was. All right, come on, Chiyu. I need this KO. I need this KO in the Iron Hands, or you're, or, or we're just Dunyan Rings, man. Good damage. How much is this doing? Come on, don't miss. Big damage. Big damage. This is Specs. <gasps> Dude, that's in bullet punch. That's in bullet punch range. That's in bullet punch range. That's insane. That's insane. Okay. Did you see how much damage we did to that guy? Crazy. Um. Oh, I, I actually have to switch out with my Chi Yu here, though. And I go into my, uh, my Amoongus and I bullet punch. Because we haven't revealed bullet punch yet. Because now this is neutral bullet punch. After the, uh, the Intimidate, because we our Guts, uh, is basically negated. Garchomp protects, that's fine. I still have Bullet Punch Pressure next turn. Also, there's Citrus, so that means that we're fine with the... Oh, is he gonna Snarl? Flare Blitz? That's fine. You're taking a lot of chip here. He crits me, though. That's actually really bad. Uh, I can just go for... Clear sm Actually, I spore the Garchomp, but it is risky in case they're like... Uh, do I spore the Garchomp? Oh, this is really risky. They should be in bullet punch range. I, I think that I just spore Garchomp. And no. I bullet punch. I am brave. I am bullet punching this Garchomp. And going right into Chi Yu. Because they should Flare Blitz me. Yeah. Because if they go into Tyranitar, they don't eat that very well. It's a Moongus. Okay, that's fine. That's actually really good that I went into Chi Yu this turn. Because a Moongus 1v1's uh, Garchomp. Arcanine Protect- Insane! That's actually the best turn for me. That is actually the best turn for me. Uh, and I actually swap out my Hariyama here to preserve it. Yeah, I swap out Hariyama here to preserve it. Because Bullet Punch uh, might win me the game. I have to not miss. If I miss, I just, like, lose, probably. All right. Connect. Oh, what are you turning into, sir? What are you turning into? Is it water? Rock. I don't know if that actually saves you. I think if I just KO this, uh, I, yeah, no, if I KO this Arcanine here, I win. And I get my Citrus Berry here. Oh, this is- no, this is a single target. This might just, like, do it. Get my Citrus Berry. Don't 
miss. No, no. Okay, that's pretty bad. That's that's pretty bad. Um, let me think. Oh, that's really bad. I think Garchomp like always attacks here, but I think I go down. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Um I can lock Snarl now though, technically. Oh wait, no, I'm locked Heat Wave. Even though, yeah. How do I do this? I think I protect this turn actually. Hey, see protects you Dragon Claws. Wait, was that a throw? If I wake up, he's in trouble. Is he gonna Terra Blast me? Alright, I didn't have any stat changes, that's fine. Uh, I Heat Wave here. And let me think what my play is. I think I like always Spore the Garchomp to win. Alright, I have to like survive this and I win. If I survive this, I win, come on. Live, Amoongus. You're a fat guy. Come on, you can live. You have a lot of defense investment. Come on. Oh! <laughs> I'm so mad I missed that hit earlier. That actually, like, I don't care if it turned into a rock type. Even if it's resisted, that's still doing way too much. Alright, let me think. Amoongus protected this turn. Amoongus protected this turn. Um... If I can, if, if they protect the Garchomp for some reason, I win. But that's the only way I win. Protect the Garchomp, Stinky. No, okay, good game. That sucked, okay, I thought we had it. I thought we had it. All right. Yeah, I think if I connected that Heat Wave, like, I would have played the end game a little bit differently. Uh, because the Amoongus would have taken too much chip to, like, deal with anything else, really. Should have remembered the RNG seed to know it would hit. Yeah, true. I think, what is it, Fake Out into Heat Wave always misses with this RNG seed bug? Oh, this is interesting. Um, oh wait, that's kind of scary. I think I always lead off with this guy. Uh, actually, wait, no, this this leads like always safe, like every single time. Also, Bronzong like annihilates this team if they let me. Actually, no, I literally just lead off Bronzong. Yeah, I just lead off Bronzong and I go like Amoongus and like you in the back. That's the play. Because Mousehold can't break Bronzong. Oh, what are you going to do to me? What are you about to do to me? I don't want to learn. Um, I'm gonna go for fake out into you. And I think I want to just trick room here. They're probably gonna trick room with their mimic you, but we'll, we'll find out. I have no idea what they're doing, to be honest. But fake out into electro is like always the correct play. That's fine. I live that. I'm gonna get my trick room off. And I can Iron Defense. Um, yeah, and then Amoongus comes in. Alright, uh, let's just go for the knockoff into you. And I'll Iron Defense here.
I wonder what they're going to turn into. Hello? Normal. All right. Are, are they going to try to explode on me? Is that what's going to... Oh, wait. Is that what their strat is? Are they just going to explode? I mean, it's not going to work. Because I go first. All right. Goodbye. You don't live this. You're, you're an electrode. Yeah. They were going to Terra Normal explode on me. So, yeah, they were going to Terra Normal explode on me. That would have been crazy. Alright, uh, I go Amoongus here every single time. Uh, I'm able to body press everything on their team not named Mimikyu. So, I literally just get it down to uh, uh, 2v1 and then I win. Okay, Mouseo does not take body press from this range. Let's spore you. There's no need to iron defense again. God, Bronzong looks so good in this game. What What is going on with their textures here? Why does Bronzong look so good? He looks like he's in the wrong game. They like popped off with him and him alone. Yoku, how you doing? All right. Can Gambit? Yeah, your body press food. Supreme Overlord. Okay, that's crazy. I forgot that's like the name of a move in this game. Uh, let's go for Spore Body Press, I suppose. You're gone. You're just you're just gone. You don't live this. Goodbye. Bronzong's too good. Yep, they're gonna go for play rough. Um My play here is spore and go directly into my funny fish. Funny fish, funny fish. No, we just get the win. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm doing good, Oyoku. Alright. I think I have time for two more battles. Maybe one. It depends how long this last one is. But that first battle, it was such a good battle, and then I missed. I hate, I hate the RNG bug. For those of you who don't know, there's a bug right now where every game has the same RNG seed. Obviously, I, I'll be honest, I'm joking. Like, the RNG bug did not, like, screw me over there because it, we're, we were too far into the game for it to matter, really. Uh, but there's, there's like, a bug with the RNG where it's always the same seed, so you can, like, predict turns pretty easily. Yo, this one's kind of crazy. Um, usually you see Dragonite with the other Ruination Pokemon, the Ice one, Chin Pao. So this one's a little weird. Um, let's get off like this. Yeah, I like this lead. Uh, in the back, I want the Zong. The Zong can, like, solo the entire team if I get rid of, like, the fish. And my last Mon, do I go for Ruination? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, like, really good if I can play it right, but also... Also, they have, like, nothing for Gyarados if I get to plus one. But I have to get rid of Rotom first. I think I... I think I go Gyarados. Okay. I think I go Gyarados, yeah. Alright. I could have also gone for Trick Room, to be honest. I could have led Trick Room. Okay. Um, I, I don't want to stay in with this. Don't want to stay in with this. So I think what I do here is I just go for Fake Out into the guy. And I go right into Gyarados. Actually, I, I go into Bronzong, actually. 
Yeah, I go into Bronzong, and I think I go for my Trick Room. They might have Taunt, but it's, like, worth it to check. Because it wastes a turn for them, because they can't Tailwind them. <laughs> yeah, and now this turn I just go for... It's Covert Cloak. It, it's... It's Covert Cloak. The best, the best item for this guy, unironically. Alright, uh, I can try to Trick Room in close combat. It might fail, but at the very least, I should always get close combat off. Let's see if they have Taunt. If they have Covert Cloak, they have to have, like, Taunt on this guy, right? It's, like, optimal. But there's no way to tell, because it's best of one. We have to check. We have to just try. We don't know what's popular yet. Alright, what's eating this? What's eating this? Oh, Goldango. It is Taunt. Hmm. Okay. I think he's gonna make it rain. I can like annihilate Golden Go though. I'm gonna I'm gonna Terra Steel here. That's probably my best play. Let's Terra Steel and go for knockoff, and then that and the bullet punch should do it, and we'll get in Gyarados to resist the hit. Reminder, we're sassy max special defense on our Hariyama. So, like, there's no way this Goldango actually, like, KOs us. And I'm Terra Stealing here, because if he, if he goes for Make It Rain, it's gonna hurt. If he goes for Shadow Ball, it's still worth it, because the Bullet Punch follow-up's gonna be important. Easy live. Dazzling Gleam? Okay, that's so good. You're gone, dude. You're gone. Alice the Ferrothorn, thank you so much for the for the raid. We also got the we got rid of the AV there, which is really nice. Um That might be within bullet punch range. But I think it's best to bullet punch the Murkrow for the KO, because it should do it now. And I just go for Waterfall into you. Yeah, he thinks I'm gonna D-dance. Oh, that didn't KO. This thing's fat. It's gotta be like max defense. Do I live that? I think I might. Yeah, okay, cool. Tailwind's gone. There's Dragonite. Okay. I think I know my play here. I always go for Bullet Punch into the this guy to get rid of him. And I go into my Bronzong. Because he's going to Tailwind, but he can't prevent my Trick Room now. And Bronzong should hard wall the rest of his team if I Iron Defense up. It's like probably not even necessary to Trick Room at that point. But I have to get rid of Murkrow to make this work. I'd imagine it's going to be like Terra Normal Choice Band Dragonite. Alright. Okay, cool. They didn't switch. I was really scared they switched there. That's Terra Normal, right? Come on. Okay, good. They're definitely choice banded then. And they went into the they definitely went for Gyarados. So Bronzong should eat this up like Reese's Puffs. I have bullet punch here. Get rid of you. When next are you streaming? Thursday night when the ladder goes up. Ladder goes up Wednesday night, technically, like, late, but... Oh, wait, that's really bad. That's actually really bad. He, he locked Fire Punch. Okay. Let me think. How do I do this? I have to cycle my Intim... Oh, it's Life Orb. Okay, that's fine. I 
I get in Gyarados here, and I should be able to Iron Defense. Because I get an Intimidate, as long as it's not like Clear Amulet. Yeah, it's not. Okay. Um... And I actually go out into Fluttermane for a second Intimidate, I think. And I have to go for uh, Iron Defense. Because Fluttermane's not going to win me the endgame anyways. Yeah. Maybe I should have protected there. I just couldn't risk, like, Swords Dance. That's fine. Alright, I didn't eat that as as well as I hoped, but that's that's okay. Iron defense here. How many turns of tailwind do they have left? Two turns of tailwind. Okay, I go for double protect here. And Body Press should KO this guy. So I go for Body Press into the Dragonite now. You have a Leftovers Recovery. Because he's Life Orb. Get in the Gyarados to intimidate the guy next to him. Body Press. I'm assuming that thing's like AV. Oh no, it was AV Goldango. I think as long as I don't get crit, I'm fine. But that thing is such crazy damage output. He has to like knock off and double into me. All right, he didn't, that's fine. As long as he doesn't crit or burn here, I win. Cause I think that's choice banded. All right, don't crit or burn. Okay, awesome. Step two. Epic. Okay, goodbye. Nice. That's game. Okay. I don't care about my low battery. It's always got a low battery. Uh, that was the last turn of Trick Room, right? Or Tailwind. My my play here is actually going to be to double protect anyways, just to like play optimally. And then I Shadow Ball Body Press and that should win me the game. Pretty sure it's Choice Band. Maybe Scarf. Yeah, it would be clicking Iron Head there if it, if it wasn't. Or whatever Steel move it gets. Okay. Shadow Ball. Body Press. Let's see if it. Well, let's see if it was Scarf. It was not. It was Banded. So yeah, there's no way he wins. No damage. Augers. All right, sick. Um, yeah, I mean that was a really good game. That that was really scary. Dragonite's terrifying, uh, but luckily we like I I'm I'm a little I'm a little bit upset that like Chi Yu wasn't able to do the funny. <laughs> it wasn't able to do the funny, but it was really crazy. Uh, it was very strong, but yeah. Uh, 
If you guys are watching on YouTube, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content, uh, and comment down below what your new favorite Pokemon to use this season is. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.